again, it's Nancy Queen from Noble Knits, and I'm here to talk to you about the long tail cast on. This is a nice sturdy cast on, and it's a little bit easier to knit than the um, loop cast on. It's kind of a next level knitting technique. And what the big part is in the beginning is you want to start with a longer tail, and you're going to be using the tail and the end of the end of the yarn that's attached to the ball to do your cast on. So we'll be using a set of needles. I have a sit pair of size 8 needles and a ball of worsted weight yarn. So let's say you are knitting a project that's going to be about 6 inches wide. Well as a rule of thumb you'll need a, a tail that's about 3 times the length of that. So if it's 6 inches you'll need about an 18 inch length before you make your um, before you make your slip knot. So you're going to start with your slip knot and then have the long tail. And you keep the long tail in the front and you're actually going to put it on the needle and tighten it up. And it's going to go onto the side of the needle that you would traditionally be working onto. So if you're going to knit, you knit from left to right so the long tail is going to go on the right where the yarn would end up. And we get we want to get our tail in the front. Keep grabbing the wrong one. So this is our tail right here. And with the tail in the front, you're going to catch part of it in your thumb and wrap it around your thumb. And then the other one you're going to wrap around your finger and you're going to kind of hold them like that. And you use your right hand finger to stabilize that stitch that's on the needle. And what you're going to do is you have a loop over here and a loop that you've made here. You're going to come under the thumb loop and then go over the finger loop and draw through both. And tighten. Again, I'll take my time on this. So I've got the yarn, both strands held here. This is the, the tail. You're going to lean back up, through the thumb, over the finger, and then back in. So if you think of this as a little rabbit, you come out of the hole, jump over the fence, and go back into the hole. And you tighten. I'll do that again. Come out of the hole, jump over the fence, go back in the hole. It's a really nice, smooth method once you get the hang of it. And you just want to make sure that you have a nice grip on these two tails, but that they're not too tight. So we'll come out of the hole, over the fence, and back in the hole. And then you put your thumb back there to tighten. And as you can see, here's the stitches we've cast on. This is the starting loop the starting slip knot and then we have one two three four five so we have six stitches total you will count that um, slip knot so there's six stitches and if you that's what you needed to cast on you are now ready to knit you just want to make sure that you don't start knitting with that long tail if it's a little too long trim it to about six inches so that it doesn't get in the way and now you're ready to start your knitting. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe below.